Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another video here on my Greeno Each channel. Now it's been a little while since we've been in front of the dining room wallpaper. I know everyone loves it. <laughs> and today I'm going to be knocking up something at home. Now, what I'm going for is this. Now this is a pizza from Iceland, which apparently is seriously spicy. Now I've seen a couple of people review this on YouTube already, including my good buddy Dino. He struggled a little bit with it, I think. <laughs> Wasn't quite sure why he was doing it to himself, but I'm a bit of a spice fiend. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Now, obviously this is just a frozen pizza. It's three pounds in Iceland, or you can get two for a fiver, which isn't too bad. Like I say it's a wood-fired stone-baked pizza. And it says it is a seriously spicy hot sauce pizza. So let's have a little look at the box and see what it's all about. Okay, so my tripod is making a very good stand to lean this pizza against so we can take a closer look at the outside of the box. Now there's lots of flames and caution hot messages all over this. Uh, so I'm guessing it's going to be relatively spicy. Uh, there's also a warning down here you might be able to see, that says super hot sauce, spicy salami, spicy beef, and red jalapeno pepper, extremely hot. Uh, apparently it's a new recipe, hand finished, which I guess just means people putting toppings on, uh, with delicious toppings on an authentic Italian base. And it actually claims to be made in Italy, which is interesting. So, I'm going to get this in the oven. It takes 12 to 15 minutes to cook. Of course, pizzas are no good for the air fryer. I don't like putting the oven on just for one little thing, but you can't fit a pizza in the air fryer. It's too big. <laughs> so in the oven it goes. Let's come back when it's done. Okay, so the pizza is cooking in the oven. I had to redistribute the toppings a little bit. Pretty much always the case when you get a, a frozen pizza, isn't it? All the bits are all clumped together into one space. So I moved the chilies around a little bit, um, just in case it's a bit hot. Little cup of water there. Don't drink milk, so I know water is not the thing before you say it in the comments. <laughs> but at least it cools things down a little bit. But in case it isn't as hot as I was hoping, we've got a, uh, a mango chilli sauce here, a little fruity kind of number. And this naga chilli sauce, which is like fire. So, I mean, this has, this is a five chili rating, this Naga chili sauce. It's pretty intense. The mango one, just four chilies. It's a little bit fruitier. So, we'll see if we need them. Let's get this pizza out of the oven. So, the pizza is cooked, folks. Here we go. Take a closer look. So, we've got these red jalapenos everywhere. The spicy beef, you can see very little pieces. Almost kind of like spicy mints, if you like. And then the uh, the spicy salami also on there. Nice little bit of mozzarella cheese. Obviously, that seriously spicy sauce. Kind of tomato-y base to the, uh, to the pizza. And the pizza itself, the crust has crisped up nicely. Not too much crust on here. The filling does come quite close to the edge. Not bad. But is it going to blow my head off? Right then, folks. Pizza cutter in hand. Let's get ourselves a nice slice of this. So, we're going to get a bit that has a little bit of everything on it. Some of the chilli beef. Some of the salami. And a good chunk of that jalapeno on there. There we go. So, take a closer look at this. Very steamy still. That's not going to help with the heat, is it? <laughs> it kind of, it smells spicy, if you know what I mean. But like a, just a hot spice. Not like a curry where you've got that fragrant aroma. It just smells of chilli, really. So let's give it a go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this isn't going to be too bad. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. 
That really is spicy. I'm not even sure that that's really a tomato sauce on there. It kind of feels like they've just smothered it with hot sauce. Let's try the jalapeno by itself, see how spicy that is. Yeah, that's not really that spicy. It's almost a sweetness that the jalapeno has. We get a couple of bits of this uh, spicy beef. Mm -hmm. Again, not too bad, but even for me, my eyes are watering eating this. That is the sauce. It's not the toppings. I'm sure of it. Wow. It's not hot enough that I need to dip into the water at this point. But it certainly is making my eyes water a little bit. That's for sure. So, the more I get into it, the more I'm getting used to that spice. He says. <laughs> so. Oh, like a little tear going down my face. Almost like a British guy doing emotions. We can't have that now, can we? <laughs> so, the pizza itself. I mean, it's, it's a fairly bog standard frozen pizza kind of crust, but it has crisped up really nicely. A good crunch to it, but no real doughiness which is what I quite like on a a pizza crust even though I like thin and crispy kind of pizzas for that crust to have that little bit of kind of little bounce almost to it you know let's get another bit here there we go you can hear me sniffing away <clears throat> I can see why they put warnings on this it's like I say I am pretty good with spice. And even this is kind of at the limit of where I like to be. I don't really think I'd want it any hotter than that. You can still pick out some of the individual flavours. Like I say, when you take a bite that has the jalapeno on it, you do pick up that little bit of sweetness from that. And when you... Uh, when you bite into it, you do pick out that sort of beefy flavour from the spicy beef. But the overwhelming sensation is that heat. I have tears rolling down my cheeks eating this. <laughs> it's, it's hot. Not so hot I can't eat it. but right on the edge of where I would say it's kind of enjoyable or not. Now, for someone like my buddy Dino, who self-confessed, not a big fan of spice, I can see why this would be a big struggle. It is fiery. It really is fiery. I really don't pick up any tomato flavour from that sauce at all. It's just fire. What does it say? It just says a super hot sauce. I'm trying to read the instructions, or the ingredients, sorry. But, um... <laughs> My eyes are a bit watery, so it's a bit blurry even with my glasses on. So there is tomato puree and tomato pulp in that sauce. So tomato sauce makes up 16% of this pizza, and that's actually a general tomato sauce. So that's with puree, pulp, olive oil, oregano, etc. You know, the super hot sauce makes up 9% of the pizza. So it's probably so it's half of the amount of the tomato sauce 
but you just can't taste the tomato sauce at all. It's just fiery. So the super hot sauce has chili puree, water, modified, modified maize starch, sunflower oil, onion powder, blah, blah. Concentrated carrot juice and pumpkin juice and all sorts in there. So <laughs> I don't know why they're trying, adding those bits in because you can't taste any flavour apart from the chili. But yeah, overall, I think this for most people is going to be a step too far. Is it just a gimmick? I guess so. Are they expecting people to buy one and go back and get another one? I guess not. <laughs> like I say, I can eat it. Am I particularly enjoying it? No, not really. Is it my favourite pizza in the world? Absolutely not. Would I buy it again? Probably not, because there are pizzas I like better than this. <laughs> so if even I don't want to buy another one, I'm pretty sure most other people wouldn't want to. I'm glad I've tried it. I will finish it. But blimey, it's a beast. Right, look at the state of me. <laughs> My eyes are still watering. It's almost making me glasses steam up. That is fiery in the extreme. Like I say, probably wouldn't buy it again, but interesting to try it. If you're not a spice fiend, don't go near it. It will be the end of you. <laughs> Now, I've still got about half of this pizza left. I am going to sit down and eat the rest of it now. Uh, some football on the telly, so I'll sit down in front of the footy and make my way through it. I'm not going to waste it, but blimey. It's going to be a challenge. <laughs> but the water is still intact. One thing for sure. I did not need the chilli sauces. They can go back <laughs> for another day. Okay then folks, well if you've enjoyed this little video where I have reviewed this uh, seriously hot sauce pizza from Iceland, don't forget to click a thumbs up on there for me, it does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed watching an old man punish himself, <laughs> then why not consider clicking the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications and you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. Like I say, I'm going to go and sit in the, uh, in the front room now, watch a bit of footy, eat the rest of the pizza, and then probably just curl up into a ball and die. <laughs> if I don't, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.